And now, our feature presentation. That's great. You get one gold star for that. Now, Al, it's your turn. You've got a greater alarm fire at uh, 1300 North Alameda. How do you get there? You, uh, you go north on Euclid. You go north on Euclid, and you turn... You turn west on Alameda, and it's 1300. Hey, hey, you want to turn that down? Huh? I can hardly hear myself think over here. Talk to shopping. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine, Mom. Okay. See you later. Okay. Are you sure nothing's wrong? No, I, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just tired. That's all. All right. And tonight you go to bed early, young lady. Yes, ma'am. I love you. I love you. Chris, what, if you really worked out, 
How much weight do you think you could lift? Oh, probably... Oh, about 25 tons. What? You mean 25 pounds, don't you? Mm -mm. No, it says so right here, 25 tons. Oh, come on. What, are you reading fantasy again? No, silly. It's part of my extension course on the mind and the body. It says right here, and I quote, If all 600 muscles in your body pulled in one direction, you could lift 25 tons. She's so smart, isn't she? You're so smart. <laughs> It's terrible. Yeah, they got it covered pretty good. I didn't mean that. Then what? It's just that I saw... Saw what? Nothing. Forget it. Hey, wait! Same old problem. Using gasoline to clean engine parts? Don't understand why people don't realize the hazard. It was an expensive lesson for him, though. He could have lost the whole house if it weren't for the sterling qualities of Task Force One. In other words, what you're saying, Chief, is we did a great job. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's save the word great for a real working fire. I'll give you good on this one. You know something? You're never happy, Chief. I'm happy. Really, I'm happy. Well, hello. Hi. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hey, partner. Don't touch the table. <laughs> oh. You know, Danny, somehow I don't think that ribbon is really Sophie's color. Well, it's not hers anyhow. Some girl dropped it. Oh, I see. Girl drops a ribbon, you pick it up. And next thing you know, you'll be getting married. Oh, she was running away. Oh, I see. So you're into chasing women. You just cut it out. When she was at the fire, so I was talking to her. Well, Danny, that's how a guy gets in trouble, isn't it, Ted? That's right. First you start talking to them. Yeah, and then you chase after them. And then you're picking up their ribbons. What's your next move, buddy? You guys just cut it out. I don't care about girls. Listen, don't let them tease you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with women. 
once you get past our normal beauty and intelligence. There was something weird about this girl, though. All girls are weird, Danny. I think I've seen her someplace before. It's a good line, perfect line. A little bit worn out, but uh, it usually works. Hey, sweetheart, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Oh, yeah? Hey! I thought you were going to do your homework. Where'd you go? Out. Oh, you're going to start sounding like that old routine. Where'd you go? Out. What'd you do? Nothing. I saw a fire. Where? A couple blocks away. Well, what happened? Did the fire department put it out? I saw it. When I was in my room. Like in my mind, I saw the fire. Before, I saw the real fire. You mean you imagined it first? I knew there was going to be a fire, Mom. <sighs> of situations where people see things, imagine things that happen, and sometimes they do. I hate it. It scares me, Mom. I know, darling. But whatever happened, whatever you saw in your own mind, you didn't cause that fire. Okay, on two. Let's go. Ready? Ready? Hey, Hi. aren't you playing? Hi. Aren't you gonna play? You playing? Oh, remember me? I saw you yesterday at the fire. Oh. Let's just forget about it, okay? I know I know you somewhere. Anyways, you drop this. Oh, thanks. How come you were carrying it? Well, I don't... Well, just... Anyhow, how come you ran away? Hey, you're a nice kid. Thanks for the ribbon. Hey, I ain't such a kid. I'm a fire explorer. And you know, you can be one, too. I hate fires. So what's your name? Danny Blake. Everybody hates fires, but someone's got to put them out. What's your name? Lisa Judson. Danny, I saw the fire yesterday. I know. You were there. I saw it before I got there. I don't get it. Well, sometimes I see things in my mind. And then they really happen. Oh, you mean like ESP and all that stuff? Hey, listen, you won't tell anybody, will you? No, but if you really can do that, well, you... Why are you staring at me like that? Please, stay away from fires. I can't. That's my job. I'm going to explore with the fire department. Don't. Please, be careful. <laughs> Okay. I'm okay, I guess. <laughs> Not now, Sophie. So, how was school? Okay. Yeah? How's the weather? 
Okay. How are your toenails? Okay. What'd you say? I said, how's your toenails? Come on, Danny, you're on automatic. What's bugging you? Okay. You know that girl I told you about? And don't start with me, Ted, because I'm serious. Hey, I won't, I promise. So what'd she do? You know that fire that you guys knocked down yesterday? She said she saw it. Well, she was there. Yeah, but she said she saw it before she got there. Like, imagined it and then ran to it. I mean, is that possible? I don't know, Danny. According to what I've been studying, there have been a lot of recorded cases of what they call precognition. What's that? Well, it's when people see, imagine, or hear things before they happen. In other words, she really can do that. It's not probable, but it is possible. That's the pit. Danny. Danny, hey, what did she say to you? Nothing, just what I told Come you. Come on, you and me are buddies. She said something that really got to you. Now, what was it? She yelled at me, stay away from fire, be careful. And she looked at me real weird. As if I'm going to be, well, I'm not going to be hurt. I mean, I'm not afraid of fires or anything. It's just, well, she just looked at me and ran off. All right, just slow down and take it easy. Now, this girl, what's her name? Lisa Judson. Okay. Now, next time you see her, why don't you convince her to come by the station? Maybe we'll all have a little talk. I don't know if I want to see her again. Well, if you do. And in the meantime, you just keep studying those safety rules and you hang out with Haley and me. You'll lead a charmed life, partner. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> okay. So then what'd he say? What he said was that both Paul and Keith think that I'm a snob. Oh, you're kidding. Can you believe that? <laughs> Paul got so mad, they almost started to have a fight over me right there in the gym. Two guys fighting over me. <laughs> Can you believe that? Lisa? Or to Lisa? Oh, I must have been daydreaming. Well, anyway, then we all went over to Karen. She's got the greatest record. We all went downstairs into the family room and started to dance. We turned the lights down low and had a really good time. Paul asked me to go to the dance this weekend. <laughs> and once I saw on TV, this guy bent a spoon with his mind. And then he made a watch stop with his mind. Well, they say we only use about 10% of our brain. Can you imagine if we used it all? All be so special. That Martelli would be dangerous. <laughs> I flunked that biology test this morning. I'm so mad, I studied so hard for it. Right after the test, I looked in my book for the answers, and they weren't there. They were like questions that I'd never seen before. <laughs> Lisa? Lisa, where are you going?
before you came. You really can tell fires from someplace far away. Yes. I hate it. Why? I mean, maybe you can help put them out faster. You know what I mean. I just want it to go away. Hey, Al, will you take care of this, please? Sure. You really think I'm gonna get hurt? Wait a minute. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Well, it's all over, Danny. Who's your friend? Lisa Judson, Ted Warchek. Hello, Lisa. Nice to meet you. And Danny's told me about you. What did he say? Oh, well, man talk, mostly. But it was all good. Look, uh, you know where our fire station is, don't you? Yes. Well, someday, if you have the time, why don't you drop by? Why? Just thought we could talk, if you feel like it. It's no big thing. Hey, Lisa, look, the, the fact that you can imagine a fire before you actually see it, that, that's very interesting to me. I, I've never met anyone who could do that. Lisa? Lisa, what's the matter? What do you see? she does, buddy. Where else would a firefighter be except in the middle of flames? Come on, let's go home. Hey. What is it, man? Will you do me a favor? No, that's what buddies are for. Just for a while. I mean, I know you're a great firefighter, but just for a while, you be extra careful. Sure. Hey, Haley. Can I give you a lift? Oh, well, thanks, Ted, but I really don't think that my stomach and your motorcycle agree. However, there's a really good movie opening tonight. Want to go? Oh, gosh, I'd love to another time, but, uh, well, I have this appointment. You know what I mean. I think we've got company. I just don't have the time right now. Hi. Hi, Lisa. How you doing? Okay, I guess. Uh, Lisa, this is Haley. Hi, how are you? Fine. No, I'm not. I'm mixed up. And feeling... Well, listen, Ted. Is Ted your name? Yeah, you got a good memory. Remember when you said that if I wanted to talk, to just come by? Sure. Well, I feel like talking now, if it's okay with you. Okay, just a minute. Listen, Haley, uh, would you mind calling this person for me? Tamara? Name. Hey, never mind the name. Just tell her hey, that. Hey, listen, Ted. If you have an appointment, I can come back some other time. Uh, no, it's okay, Lisa. You are my appointment. Besides, he can always see tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, that's very funny. Uh, we can park it right here. Okay. So, uh, you want to go around back and talk? Sure. is uh, 132 tons. Oh, this is great. How'd you like to go aboard? Oh, I'd love it. Come on. Okay. So what do you use a boat like this for? Well, mostly for dock fires and ship fires. Lisa, how often have you seen fires before they've actually happened? Just a few times now. Am I sick or crazy or something? No, you're just a normal person who has a very cute nose. 
and who happens to have something that's that's special that not many people understand. I'm scared. I guess it must be pretty scary. I hate seeing fires. I hate seeing terrible things happen to people. You mean like me and Danny when you saw us in the flames? Hey, I'm a firefighter. And Danny's a fire explorer. That's what we do. We go to fires. If we're careful, nothing's going to happen to us. Lisa? Lisa, what's the matter? Are you okay? Lisa, what's, what's going on? Lisa! Lisa! There's a fire! A fire! I see fire! Look at me. Look at me. It's okay. No, you know, you don't understand. I see a fire now. There's a fire in a big house. It's a warehouse. By the water. By the dock. It's burning. Listen to me. You know what? It may not be so terrible. In fact, it could be pretty terrific. Do you hear that? You could be the best thing that's happened to the fire department since, well, since running water. Lisa, Lisa, this information could save lives. Where's the fire? I see a street sign. Uh, Adams and, and Forth. No, it's 14th. The one's almost worn out. Dad, she's seen them before and she's been right. This one, she sees it at a dock warehouse at the corner of Adams and 14th Streets. We've heard nothing but mostly beyond this. Well, she sees them before they report it. Oh, well, uh, look, uh, Lisa, I believe what you have to say. I can't send out emergency equipment on the basis of... Dad, just suppose she's right. Well, if she's right, then we'll get a code red dispatch from OCD and we will proceed to the location with all speed and care. Okay, Dad, I got it. Come on, Lisa. Um, listen, uh, you two. Uh, you're, you're off duty now, aren't you? Yes, sir. Well, there's nothing to prevent you from going to the location and checking it out. I mean, nothing official, you understand. Just if you, if you choose to go. Uh, that is, if, uh, if Ted can get out of his date. Oh, he already did. Uh, Ted, I forgot to tell you. Tomorrow said she's run out of tomorrows with you. Get out and take a look. smiling about it's not here we can see that yeah, it's lucky dad didn't send out the troops don't you see what this means no what you were wrong right right i was wrong i don't have it i'm not weird i am just a normal kid with a funny nose right ted a cute nose she was really excited as if she was released from some terrible burden ah. I have read where police departments use psychics to help solve cases. Wouldn't it be something if someone really did have that power? Then OCD could dispatch us even before a fire was reported. <laughs> Make your job a lot easier. I think we better tell Danny when he gets back from his explorer's meeting. I was teasing him about Lisa. Mm -hmm. You and your father have been brooding all through dinner. Now, come on, my food is not that bad. <laughs> no, Mom, it's great. I'm sorry. 
I don't know. I, I guess I'm, I'm just still concerned about Lisa. Mm. What's going on with you, Joe? Joe? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you thinking about? What's going on? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing twice adds up to something. You are getting to know me almost as well as I do. Better. What's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just... Uh... Where did you say that location was? A deserted part of the dock, Dad. Down around Adams and 14th Streets, but there's nothing there. There's not a warehouse, there's not even a shack. It's just a, an empty lot, and it looks like it's been that way for years. Benton? Joe? Listen, uh... Seven, eight years ago, we had that major emergency in the docks. Yeah, I thought so. Thank you very much, Benton. Thank you. Of course, the Matrix Warehouse. You remember that one, Anne? Well, yes. Talk about fully involved fire. Total block, total loss. Spooky, Dad. How long ago was that? Seven years ago. Almost to the day. Out of time cognition, they call it. What? As if there is no time. Or the reverse. All time, past, present, and future, become one. It's all now. Well, then you believe that Lisa still has her uh, gift. Some gift. Danny, don't go in there. Fire. Smoke. Watch out. Danny. No! Don't go in there. Sweetie, wake up. Danny! No, no, don't. Wake up. It's, it's just a bad dream. Mommy's here. It's okay, darling. Wake up. Just a bad dream. It's all right. Didn't you tell me at dinner that you didn't have it anymore? You went to the docks and there was no fire. You see, darling, it's it's all over. There's nothing to worry about. Check with the Los Angeles City Fire Department. Are you, you're Lisa Judson's mother? Yes. Is, is something wrong? Nothing's happened to her. No, no. Everything's just fine. I was actually hoping to talk with Lisa. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Well, I suppose it'd be easier if I started from the beginning. Do you mind if we go inside? Well, no. Just let me turn this off. So I just wanted to talk to her some more about those fires that she imagines. Well, she's out riding her bike now with a young friend who sort of adopted her as a pal. Danny something, rather. Danny? Danny Blake? Yeah, that... Oh. Danny. That was the name. What name? Well, last night, Lisa had a nightmare. It was awful. She kept screaming, Danny. Fire, smoke. She kept seeing Danny in flames. 
You don't think she can actually tell about that? I hope not. Well, thank you very much. And uh, when they get back, would you ask Danny to check with me at the station? Of course. Tell me, do you have any suggestions about Lisa? Frankly, I'm out of solutions. I'm sorry, I don't. And I'm not qualified to suggest anything except uh, well, just to be patient. That's a mother's job. Thank you, Mr. Wojcik. Bye-bye. Says anything's the matter. Tell me a bread, please. Your big brother does, that's who. Well, what makes you so smart? Now, come on. What's going on? <laughs> I can't put my finger on it, Chris. But I feel weird. You know, like something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> Forget it. I guess I'm kind of off today. I 
fire, station one. There's a fire. A fire at Market and Richard Streets. Is this Lisa? Yes. Yes, it is. Lisa Judson. Lisa, it's Ted. What's going on? Oh, the building is all smoky and Danny's inside. He said somebody needed help. Oh, you've got to come. Danny's inside. Are you sure? Yes, of course. You've got to believe me, Ted. I do believe you, Lisa. But I need something. Something specific that, that makes it seem like more than just your imagination. Come on, Lisa, think. I need something. But Danny said to call you. He said... Oh, I remember. He said, call OCD and, and tell them that we need a full assignment. I don't know what that means. I sure do. You said market in Richard Streets? Yes. Oh, please hurry. We're on the way. I'm reporting a still alarm at a building located at Market and Richard Streets. We need a full assignment and a rescue ambulance. Roger, Fire Station 1.
Alexa, they're okay. Uh, okay, gang, everybody's gonna be all right. Keep it going, hang on. We'll be out of here in a minute. Time, would you please call us before you crawl into a fire? Sure, Chief. Sure, Chief. Lisa, you you didn't actually see this fire, did you? Not in my mind, no. You know, I think it's going away. I haven't seen anything for a while. And I'd just as soon it not come back, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, but in a way, it's a marvelous gift. And if it ever does come back, just call me. I'll know where to take the marshmallows. <laughs> That, that's what I saw. What? I saw you in flames. Oh, great, behind a marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> some firefighter can't even put out a marshmallow. You need some help, buddy. Yeah, hot shot, let's see you do it. <laughs> Make-believe, friends. The land of make-believe. Think you'd like a part in our picture? Me? Help me, Danny. I'm falling. Hang on. I'll get help. Hurry. I can't hold on. Gorman Studios is a fire trap. It could go up at any time. Gorman, he's going to burn the building. What about the wind? He doesn't care. We have several structures heavily involved. One or more persons reported inside. Hi. I'm Adam Rich with a safety tip from the Los Angeles City Fire Department. Stop, drop, and roll. It's something that can save your life in case your clothing catches fire. If you run, it will increase the fire and you can be badly burned. If your clothes catch fire, don't panic. Stop, don't run, drop to the ground, and roll to put out the flames. Once again, stop, drop, and roll. It may save your life. It's a nicer world with you in it. 